Okay, so let's do a few examples just to um, uh, make things clear. Let's try. Um, let's try this. So this molecule is one, two, three, four, five pentan three ol, and we've got a methyl group. So it's two methyl pentan three ol, and we're going to oxidize it with acidified dichromate. Now, in order to figure out what the products are, you need to look at the actual alcohol and decide what kind of alcohol it is. So in this case, uh, you can see that it's a secondary alcohol, and so therefore it's going to turn into a ketone. So the final product, wherever the OH group was, that now becomes a carbonyl group. This is the product, and we call it 2 methyl methylphenotanoin. So that was a secondary alcohol going into a ketone. All right, let's try another one. Um, we'll try this. Now naming this one is a bit funny. You sort of want to start with the cyclohexane as the main chain, but remember that the main chain must have the functional group on it. So in fact, the main chain in this case is this single little group here, and the cyclohexane is actually a substituent. So the name for this is 1-cyclohexylmethanol. And in fact, we don't even really need to say one cyclohexyl methanol because methanol has only one carbon, so it couldn't be anything else. Okay, so if I react this with acidified dichromate, uh, we look at the alcohol. Is it primary, secondary, or tertiary? You can see the OH is attached to a carbon that is attached to only one other carbon, so it's a primary alcohol. So it's going to go by two steps. It's going to go first to an aldehyde and then to a carboxylic acid. So the first step turns into an aldehyde, and then if the oxidation continues, you have enough acidified dichromate that will continue on, and the aldehyde will be converted to a carboxylic acid. So the name of the aldehyde will be cyclohexylmethanol, and the name of the carboxylic acid will be cyclohexylmethanoic acid. So that's an example of a primary alcohol going to an aldehyde and then going further to a carboxylic acid. All right, let's try one more example. Uh, what about this one? So this is one, two, three, four. So it's two methyl butan two O. And I'm again going to expose it to acidified dichromate. What's that going to go to? Well, if we look at this alcohol, we find that it's a tertiary one. The carbon to which the OH is attached is attached to three other carbons, so it's tertiary. If we try and make a double bond with the oxygen, we find that the carbon will have to have five bonds, which doesn't work. So we get no reaction. So just keep in mind that with tertiary alcohols, no reaction with an oxidizing agent. Now this can actually be quite useful because if you know that you have a compound that has an alcohol group in it, but when you expose it to an oxidizing agent you find that no reaction occurs, you immediately know that it must be a tertiary alcohol. And so that gives you some clues towards its structure. Okay, so that's the last of the alcohol reactions.